Hey Cancers, welcome to your reading. Uh, welcome back to my lovely loyal subscribers. Guys, you know I've just moved into a new home and I'm trying um, different areas to work in to see where I can get my mojo and flow going. <laughs> so if you're one of my lovely loyal subscribers, you guys know to just bear with me, right? If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Each sign I've just picked up a random deck because, yeah, I just feel, I just felt today, um, ooh, an opportunity not to be missed here. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Don't overthink it. There's an opportunity coming. Yeah, I just felt like that's the way it's going to be today. Mm-hmm. There's the opportunity not to be missed. There's the opportunity not to be missed. There is a love offer coming your way and you're being told here, look, don't miss this. Don't take it for granted. It's coming. Um, it, five of Wands. You've had to overcome obstacles uh, while waiting for this love. It might have even been the waiting. You might have been impatient and frustrated. Like, um, yeah, a love offer's coming my way. I've waited five years. I've been single. And where are they? So this could be in a long time. And it could be you that's frustrated with the five of wands. That's the only challenges in the way there. There's no real obstacles to this love. Five of pentacles. Uh... You was left out in the cold. You was manifesting from an energy of lack here with the five of um, pentacles. So it almost comes across like um, chasing energy. So when we're looking for love, it's more difficult to find, right? Um, but when we stop looking, look what happens here. Looky here. Uh, six, uh, sorry, four of wands. This is a new beginning. If you're seeing 1111 or some sort of, even maybe the fives, the fives are big right now because there are major changes going on for everybody. So this is what's coming for you, Cancer. Prepare for this love offer because I feel like this person takes you by surprise. You're like, what, what are you doing? Stopping my horse. Why are you stopping my car? It's going to be something dramatic and you're like, what are you doing? They take you by such surprise. Um, but this is a new beginning. An opportunity for love not to be missed here. Oh, let's see. Might be a water sign, but all the signs will generally come out. Six of Swords, positive movement forward and coming out of hermit mode here. So actually letting yourself walk in the sun and actually letting yourself enjoy your blessings here. Because when we are in hermit mode so long, it gets comfortable. So I feel like you're going to have a short, sharp shock. <laughs> yeah, say that three times fast. Um, that really pushes you out of your comfort zone here because you've got to a point where, yeah, I am thinking positively and I do want love in my life. I've got frustrated waiting. Um, I might have even given up waiting and that's why somebody can finally come in because we end up putting the blockages in the way when we are um, focusing from an energy of lack with the five of pentacles. So you could have broken up with somebody or exited a relationship as long as five, ten years ago and been single all this time. Um, but I do feel like there is an invitation here um, coming towards you. Um, so it might be that you're going on a date for Valentine's or somebody's bringing you some flowers. Wonderful. Yeah, three of swords. When the heartache is over. <laughs> um, so when the heartache is over, we're done missing somebody. This is when new things can come in, when we've learned all these abundant lessons here. So I feel like for a long time, uh, you were going through this energy of lack and learning this lesson. It might be because you're such a beautiful sign that, you know, your empathy and, um, you know, your hope and dreams for people were getting the better of you maybe. So you was always trying to think of the best of people. Um, so you maybe even hung in there longer than you should have. You could have been in long-term relationships that came to an end and you waited for the person to do the right thing, getting hurt over and over again. So you <clears throat> had to heal this cycle and you had to go within to realize that, you know, if people put these swords in our back, they have to have the opportunity to do it as well, right? So we have to be accountable for our actions. So this was a very deep spiritual lesson for you. But you're being asked to come out of this now. Sorry, this. <laughs> Hermit mode. 
look at this hermit. You're being asked to come out of this and out of this energy because it's energy of lack. Once we're staying in our comfortable zone, um, a tower usually comes in. But for you guys, this is going to be a good surprise. Um, something I feel maybe you're not expecting. Um, probably in the next few weeks here, this is the Seven of Cups. So this is Pisces season. And again, we see her on something. Um, so I definitely feel like you're going to be busy doing something, maybe even distracted when this love comes into your life. Um, you may even be picking up or talking to people you're not really interested in, um, but you know, just doing it because maybe you're a little bit bored and frustrated waiting. So you're trying to make, you know, doing a Cinderella, trying to make a shoe fit. Whatever's meant for you will not pass you by. So what's not meant for you won't fit either. We've got to look at the flip side of that. And I feel like that's what you, why it took so long. I feel like you might have been confused about a lot of things, maybe in a long-term relationship and really had to regroup yourself even. Um, some of you are dreaming, um, having really vivid dreams. And this is um, letting you know also that your soulmate here is coming. Six of Pentacles reversed, along with that Seven of Cups and the Hermit, Five of Wands reversed. Um, yeah, you were definitely overgiving and self-sacrificing and felt like that was the way to keep somebody in your life, to give and give and give and give. But what happened, guys? You ended up on empty, right? Uh, you ended up in heartbreak. So every time we relive this heartbreak, it comes to us like it happened yesterday um, and messes with our feelings, our emotions here. So you guys really need grounding. You guys really need grounding. I would suggest walking a, a stream of water because you are a water sign. Maybe you have earth in the moon um, or fire, but you really need to ground yourself and tell yourself, hey, do you know what it is? If I'm alone right now, why should I worry about being alone forever? I'm doing fine. I'm looking good. You're looking good, cancers, right? Um, but that's not, that's not the problem here. It doesn't mean there's nobody there for you. There is somebody. Somebody's on their way. I feel like what we need to get past is that energy of lack to allow them to fully come into our life. Nine of Cups. This is something you wished for. This is something you wished for being granted here. I think because it took such a long time, but how far is, you know, the moon? The, the funny thing is, I wanted to tilt the camera up and show you guys the moon from the window. Um, because <laughs> it's just right in the window here. And that's what it feels like here. Maybe you're looking up at the moon as well. Um, so, Pisces full moon will be on the 2nd of March. And the sun will also be in Pisces. So this is a lot of watery energy. It might not be a water sign. He might just be coming or she might just be coming under that watery moon. Um, so watch out for that. This could be like... I said, the opportunity not to be missed because this is something you wished for. It might not be with the person you initially wished for. You could have said, hey, universe, I want my you know, divine love. I want my forever love. So you've got to be open to these opportunities and not feeling like you're not getting them because it might not be the person you initially wanted. That person could have left your life because they wasn't your divine love. And because you made a wish like, hey, I'm with this fantastic person. I want to be with them forever. And you wish for your forever person. And then you had to go through losing them in order to find the one. What you wished for. This is a blessing. Um, albeit in disguise because you went through that three of swords for a very long time here. I feel like for some of you, like you might have even struggled in a relationship for at least the last five years. Just arguments until somebody finally walked away. Um, for their own new beginning, leaving you like, where shall I go here? What shall I do? And you might have felt even abandoned because you stayed through the difficult times, right? So you may have felt very hurt and abandoned by their decision to leave because you didn't decide to leave when things were bad. You stuck it out. 
So that could have been very confusing to you and you've had to really pick yourself up, work on yourself and get over those negative thoughts, right? So now you are in that six of swords energy, positively moving forward and things are going to be a lot more smoother now. So you're being told you're already doing it. You're already doing it. So if you're asking, well, what do I need to do to find this person? You're already doing it. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north, awakening. I feel like you and your soulmate are starting to, yeah, energy, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. So I definitely feel like you and your soulmate are waking up to each other here. I feel like I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is not a person um, you've already met, Okay. Um, because it, I'm going out on a limb because it's a general reading and so many people can watch. Uh, guess what? When your soulmate calls, answer the call. <laughs> what is your soul calling you to do? Answer your call. Your souls are calling out to each other here. I feel like receive this blessing mainly because of this at the bottom. It's telling me straight away um, this is an opportunity not to be missed. A relationship will that will stand the test of time. Like here it said, don't overthink. Just keep facing your true north. Don't overthink. Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles, somebody knew. Um, and the Queen of Swords. Three of uh, Page of Wands. Initiation. Um, the Queen of Wands reversed is basically, um, you know, speak, chat, flirt, get out there. <laughs> Good luck, Cancers.